Hello, hello, and welcome back for layout number two. This layout I wanted to be um, more generic, so you could use it for um, just not 4th of July photos. You could also use it for parties or birthday parties or any kind of party, really. Um, and you could still use it for 4th of July. So <laughs> I kind of tried to be a little bit different um, with this design. But this layout is super simple to put together. It's just layers of um, papers. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll start with the left-hand page, which is right here. So grab your supplies. We're going to use a white cardstock for our base. We'll need the Carolina cardstock. And I use the lighter side and then you'll need this celebrate a scarlet stripe this party i think i called it party pattern <laughs> and the star yes okay then we'll also need um, some picture my life cards so I gotta find where I stashed those. There they are. And let's do, they're double-sided. So if you don't see your design that you need, check out the opposite side. Let's see. Oh, here's the let's party. And then the stripe. And that's all we need. We'll add some sequins and stickers at the end. But this one is super fast and easy to put together. So let's go ahead and get started. I think I already said that. <laughs> okay. So um, from what I'm hearing from our home office is that this look is totally coming back. So with the... Um, having just a little bit of the background and then a color or even a pattern is really popular right now. So I'm like, sure, let's do that on this layout. That's what they tell me. So I'm like, sure, we'll do that. <laughs> so I'm just going to stick that in the center. And honestly, I designed this layout without that extra layer. And I just used the Carolina as the background. And it just totally popped when I put the, the white behind it. So if you're looking at your layout and it just needs a little something extra, maybe add um, an extra layer uh, behind your base. Okay, so I'm just gonna set this next to, I'm sure it says in my instructions. So this one, this party pattern is about an inch from the bottom. So this mat that I'm working on is a Versa mat and is so nice, especially when doing layouts because I can line it up on both sides and make sure that it's lined up all the way across. Okay, all right, so now let's do the celebrate piece. Or you could do the stars. I really love that pattern too. But I was trying, again, I was trying to just be a little bit different. And um, so I use the celebrate instead. Okay. And then we're going to put the scarlet piece. Sorry if I'm not in camera. I really need to. Um, Probably go out further so you can see, but I don't know. I kind of like close up too. <laughs> it's hard to know, right? Where my camera should be, but okay. So I'm just gonna leave about a fourth of an inch um, from the top and then leave about a fourth of an inch of this uh, celebrate peeking out. And then let's add the star. right there in the center see how easy that is and then the second page is like a repeat so even better 
Okay, we're gonna use this stripe, picture my life, and just add it to the top. Add an angle. And I kind of left this corner peeking out and like that. And then the let's party. Kind of just angled it a little bit to the right. And then we're going to add some. I didn't have us cut photo mats, obviously, but those are um, three by three. So if you have some extra white left over, you can cut those if you want some photo mats. Um, okay, so let's do these little stars right here. There's this light blue one. I'm just gonna stick that right there. And then this darker blue, stick it at the top. And then the white that you can barely see, <laughs> it blends in. And I'm gonna add that up here too. And then some sequins. Yeah, sequins aren't just for shakers. We can use them for accents, um, if you need a little extra bling on things. They're super versatile. Okay, so I think I did like the, the largest size. Yeah, that's the largest sequence size. And I just added one right there. And then I'm gonna add one here on the stripe. So with some liquid glue. You could use glue dots if you have glue dots, that works too. Okay, so that's page number one. And put that aside. And then let's grab the supplies for page number two. And it is pretty much the same as page number one, but we're gonna add a couple extra or balloons on this one. Okay, so I'm using the lighter side of the Carolina. So you'll notice that um, Close My Heart's cardstock has a light side and a dark side. And, sorry, <laughs> my light. Okay, has a light side and a dark side. And um, so you get kind of a twofer with Close My Heart cardstock. So I'm gonna put the adhesive on the dark. And I'm just going to add that to the center of that white base. Then I'm going to add the party pattern. And that's going to be, what did we decide, an inch? Yes, an inch from the bottom. Then let's do our celebrate piece. Right there. Then the scarlet. I love the scarlet. It's such a nice, bright red. <laughs> okay, and then the stars. Right there in the center. And again, I didn't have us cut a photo mat, but um, that's okay. If you have extra white cardstock, you can cut a photo mat. And then the small polka dot Picture My Life card. Are you guys liking the Picture My Life cards? I've used them, um, I think last month. I used them last month too. I just love how all of Close My Heart's products, like their paper sweets and or paper, I, th I think we call them paper sweets, that's what, um, but the, it all matches. So we have all of these fun elements that match each other that you can use on all your different projects. So that seriously is one of my favorite things about Close My Heart, because I am not good at picking things out and matching them together, so they do the hard work for me. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna do the balloons. So we're gonna do this red stripe one. Grab my foam. I'm just gonna pop them up a little bit. 
and that one is about right there kind of going off to the right and then the star balloon and that's going to kind of go to the left covering up that string and then this is actually um, I left that for journaling if you want to do a journal square or you could actually add another photo and then our blue our last balloon so cute and we're just going to put it off like meet up on the bottom a little bit up there we go and we can add our stars in our sequence. So there are some more white stars over here on this side. Just add them. I love the white on that Carolina. And then this red little guy, just put him on the top. We're doing it in threes. And then we're gonna add two sequins because we wanna keep the numbers odd. I don't know why odd is favor favorable, but it is. <laughs> That's what they tell me. I'm not going to argue. <laughs> okay. Just add the, some more bling up there to match the other side. Um, what I like to do, and I've kind of talked about before, is if I use an accent or um, if I use something on the left side, I want to try to use it on the right side as well. Just to keep everything balanced. Okay, that is it for layout number two. There you go. Okay, so I need to charge my light real fast. It's starting to dim on me. And then I will meet you right back here in just a little bit to do our six by six layout. I'll see you in just a minute.